Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. We're kind of having a uh, relaxing day and uh, then I got an email saying that I want a storage unit. How it works is they're online. You kind of look at some pictures, you place your potential bids in there and then when it ends, you find out if your max bid won or not. And in this case it did, but lucky for me, I've got my kid Steven who's off today. And so I'm gonna drag him with me to help maybe load up the truck with some stuff. So uh, let's go do a little exploration. We'll see what came out of the storage unit, hopefully something cool. Let's get on out. It is a uh, balmy minus 27 degrees Celsius right now. Not the most ideal day to be emptying out a storage unit. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna find. The pictures were terrible for this unit. I thought I saw part of like a handlebar or something. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be something, maybe like a bicycle or I don't know, something worthwhile. It's always a gamble with a place like this, with a unit like this but uh, we shall see soon enough. Uh, we are here, but um, because it's so cold out, we're probably gonna have to just load a bunch of stuff and sort it at home because I don't, do you feel like standing outside going through <laughs> stuff? Uh, maybe not at this moment, no. Yeah, neither do I. I so, value my fingers. Uh, we have to go into the office and pay and then uh, we'll get access to the locker. Trucks ready? Yep. Okay, all right, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Gonna partially open already. Yeah, it's just a little guy. I don't think there's gonna be that much in there. And, okay, I was right. I saw a glimpse of handlebars in the picture, but we've got a full on, uh, this is an electric scooter. Geoelectric. Somebody's dismantled. Maybe it had a, a rack on the back at some point, but we've got a scooter in less than ideal condition. A whole bunch of basketballs. Hey, soccer is that a volleyball ball. or is that a soccer it's ball? A soccer ball. We got to look for a volleyball. Abigail has been all about a volleyball. There's a couple bicycles in here with the bat wheels are kind of missing off of them though. BMX frames. Looks like somebody was into sports. Um, oh, I see. Maybe there's the other wheels off of the bike. You got some speakers and tools. Music flow system. Okay. Well, we will go through these boxes in a minute, but you know, the first thing is we got to get this uh, scooter out here. What is this? Um, is that like a bear hat? I hope this person wasn't a furry. I mean, not to shame, not to shame people who are into that kind of stuff, I but, don't think uh, that would fit a human head. Maybe I, a very small human. No, I think it's a hat. Yeah, it's definitely a hat. Look, it's got a little brim. Oh, you know what? They probably went to the university because um, I see the Gold Eyes logo there, which is a bear. So maybe that maybe that was like when you go to a game, you'd wear the bear hat. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Either way, we got to get the big stuff out of the way today. And then I can come back and load up the rest of this stuff and go through it tomorrow. I don't know what that thing is. If it was a heater, it'd be nice because it is freezing cold in here. First things first, let's get the scooter out. Well, it's not a uh, gas powered scooter or, I mean, Geo is kind of a brand name, but it looks like it took a hard tumble at some point, but maybe the motor's okay. Let's uh, get that other bicycle or the bikes up in here. Hopefully the back wheel is there for this. That actually looks like a decent bike. Yeah. Uh, do you want to grab it? Sure. Yeah, that one can go straight in the back of the truck and I'll grab the other frames and load them up too. Oh, there's a rim off a car. What's that? This is an electric bike. Oh, that's an electric bike? Yep. What does it say on it? Bosch. Oh yeah, Bosch Electric. That's actually a pretty pricey bicycle, I didn't even realize. I hope that this is the, uh... oh, those are BMX wheels. I hope the back wheel is for, for that bike is in here somewhere. I don't know what these tires are for, Kia. Okay, I'm gonna grab this other bike frame. Steven is, you know, I'm getting 
I'm getting my gloves on. Uh, Steven's going to throw in... Is that actually a brand name, like a BMX? Uh, maybe. I can't really see it. Today. looks like somebody stripped the paint off of it. But BMXs are actually pretty popular. And what we realized, or what actually Steven noticed when he was putting this bike in, is uh, that's an electric bike. Bosch Performance Line electric uh, assist motor on there. The uh, rear wheel is missing in action right now. We're hoping we can find it. Uh, let's get all the bike parts in. And uh, I've got rims off a Kia, which may be somebody who has a Kia. I'm gonna hand that one to you. Oh, they are really stripped. Something yeah, here. somebody was handling like crazy. I, don't I gotta make sure to check the sides because there's parts kind of along the side here too. How off do you think their alignment was? Um, it's like there's no tread here. I think this person might have really driven their car hard. Look, it's like down to the steel belting on that. Uh, I wouldn't want to see what the car looks like. Yeah. Okay, we got more BMX parts. You'd be surprised that BMX is... Some of them can be worth like thousands of dollars if it's the right one. I don't know that we've got the right one here. Oh, they're skateboards. Oh. Okay, that one can go too. You got it? Yep. Okay. Um, we have a lot of basketballs. Oh, look, is that one autographed? It is. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like the school. I was like, it's autographed. But no, it's just uh, got somebody's name on it. And we've got some... Uh, Basketball posters. There's some more wheels there. Okay, let's get the, uh, what we think the bicycle rims. All right. Those can go. And the, uh, like an entire school's worth of basketballs. Some other bits and pieces for the bikes. Careful jumping down there. Oh, that's not all that is. We have three out of four rims, I think, for that Kia. Let's see, is this another Kia rim here? Nope, that's like a spare. That can go. Well, I suspect this might be a tire. Ha. Huh. You're not tired of my jokes yet? No. Nope. No, might have been a, I don't know if this was a girl's unit or at least they had some girl stuff in it. That box said it was Amber's stuff. And if we ever find um, like personal belongings, like uh, pictures and stuff like that, we always do make sure to leave it with the office for the staff, there's more bicycle parts. How's it going up there? Uh, I'm just reorganizing. Okay. We'll at least get a truckload of stuff out of here today. Some the sander, right? It'll be sander and some power tools. I'll go through that back of the house. Just careful not to slip off the end. Oh, this looks like an LED, like a scoreboard. I, th I think that's an LED scoreboard of some kind. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, we'll take the uh, skateboards. I don't, was that T Tupac on that one? On this? On the grip tape. Oh, yeah. Here, and you can take that one. I was looking from the wrong angle. Okay. The There's always kitchen stuff mixed in. No matter where you go, there's kitchen stuff. Okay, I'm gonna come back for the rest of this stuff tomorrow. So we got the majority of the, uh, got the majority of the motorcycle and bicycle stuff out today. There's a helmet. Okay, I'm freezing my hiney off here today. Well, the scooter's here. And although it's a little worse for wear, 
I'm sure the parts that it's missing could be uh, purchased to put it back together. Have no idea if the battery is there for it. Um, this bicycle, if I go back tomorrow and I don't know if I have the rear wheel or not, but if I can complete this bike, apparently it was $25 or $2,700 new. Not a cheap thing. Electric bikes usually aren't. Um, now you can see it doesn't have the, uh, the battery there that goes to the battery assist. So that's something I have to keep my eyes open for as well. Um, I'm gonna have a quick snoop through some of these bags. Paint roller. Because I'm hoping that maybe the battery pack for that bike or maybe something. Well, there's a black and decker drill. It's another drill. Power core lithium skill. And we've got a uh, Ryobi sander, more drills, a skatery looking hat, probably matches the skateboards. Couple hats, yeah, University of Alberta hat. So probably a student's unit that they, maybe they moved back home and forgot about it. Case for a cell phone. Looks like a video game cord. I didn't see a video game system in here though, but you never know what's going to be found. Lots of tools and stuff. Screwdrivers and socket sets and so forth. I don't know what this stuff is. I'm gonna walk around. Okay, move that out of the way. What's in the blue bag? Lilo and Stitch rainbow pop figure. It's this little Stitch character. Another cell phone case. We have what looks like a speaker. Looks like an external speaker. Hmm. Part of a lens for a, oh no. Whoa, that's funny. That's a cup, but it looks like the lens for a camera. It's obviously something spilt out of it, but that's actually pretty creative. It looks like a Canon zoom lens and you put your drink inside of it. I've not seen one of those before. Well, maybe this person had a few little fun things in the mix here. More tools. Oh, there's no shortage of tools in these storage units. A little cleaning brush. Um, like a back massager. Ear pod case, no ear pods. Air pod case, maybe. Lots of cables and stuff, okay. And here, this says it's a music flow speaker that somebody has drawn all over it with red sort of marker. LG. Wireless speaker, you got a printer, a, what the heck is this? Sewing machine pedal? Is that what that is? Or what is that? Plugs in, it's got a cable. To me that looks maybe like an old sewing machine pedal. Cause it has, like the old slot car controllers, the FX, it's the same kind of like, it just runs along the side there. And another crazy looking speaker system. Looks like you could put your phone right in there. It's got an input and it looks like a pretty heavy duty stereo. Oh, there is a video game controller. So maybe somewhere, it's under the bike pump. Maybe somewhere there's a Super Nintendo to go along with this. And we've got a printer, like an all-in-one sort of uh, fax machine printer. Somebody took the uh, sign off a ski hill saying permanent closure. Maybe they were like, huh, I'll show you. I can do that black diamond. I don't need that sign. And then they went down anyway. Who knows? Well, back at it again tomorrow. We'll see what else we can add to the mix here. Well, I was wrong about one thing. As I've had time tonight to look it up, this uh, electric bicycle I found in the unit is a German-made ghost e-bike that retails for approximately $7,000 US. Very expensive e-bike. I sure hope I can find the parts for it because 
Um, that would be a really good score, possibly one of the best ones I've ever found in a storage unit. Hey guys, it is the next morning. It is even colder somehow than it was yesterday. I don't have Steven with me to help out, so it's just me. Um, I'm actually gonna leave the truck running so it doesn't cool off in here because it is bitterly cold. Mine is 30 degrees outside. Uh, I'm gonna load up the back of this truck as fast as possible, try and get it offloaded at home, and then um, we'll go through it there where it's warm. <laughs> well, this is it. The entirety of that storage unit here in my garage. Uh, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do before Melissa and Steven get home from school. So I'm gonna basically get right to it. I'm gonna start by putting some of these boxes up on this table I've got set aside here so I can sift through. I'm gonna try and do a trip to the dump this morning, get all the garbage out, do a trip to charity. Hopefully later on, I'll be left with a few things I can sell. So let's uh, get through some of these boxes and see what we have. Oh, I found one of the AirPods. It's just not an actual AirPod. Probably find the other one in here somewhere. Let's see. Weave Los Angeles Premium. Still has the tags on it. Oh, Gucci. Is that an act? That's not actually Gucci though, is it? It would say Gucci, I'm sure. $68 retail. Yeah, that's not really Gucci. <laughs> I was gonna say, pretty sure Gucci would have Gucci on it, Puma hoodie. But maybe there's promise. Somebody's weave. I could surprise Melissa today and just have that on. You look my new hair, instant mullet. Okay. Some of the clothes can go to uh, charity if they're in good enough shape. Those are my, I was gonna say those look like my gloves. Those are my gloves. <laughs> okay, first box done. Hit this other one up here. This is kind of a unique thing. It's obviously part of a bar set. It rotates the back side of it. See, it has a center pin here, so it would have been able to spin around. The other side has like a magazine rack. It almost looks like the sort of thing that would have been inside the back of an old limousine, you know? Like you, you have your magazines for reading when you're going, then you spin it around. Um, or out of an entertainment unit, like a home entertainment unit. Weird piece, <laughs> just randomly hanging out in here. Mail file, a, looks like a dog bone shaped carpet, probably for your dog to hang out on. Another hat. Looked like it had the Jordan logo on it, yeah. Air Jordan hat. Elf on the shelf. There's now gonna be Elf in the dump. Empty toothpaste case. You know, it's the generic sort of stuff that you find in a storage unit. A flask. And it's empty. <laughs> Not like that would make a difference. Uh, okay, so some ger generic household things. Oh, that's going to be LED lights. Yeah, little Santa Christmas heads. So some Christmas stuff in here. Oven mitts. Just kind of junk, really, in this box. One bocce ball. Can't have much of a game with that. Yeah, I've been bagging up some garbage. I brought this box up to look through. Gear, it says on the outside of it. Let's see what's in here. We have, oh, we got shoes. We have Patrick Ewing basketball shoes. There's one. There's two. I thought they were both lefts for a second. No, that's a matching pair. We've got another set here. Some shoes can be pretty valuable, especially if, oh, there's flight. Are these Air Jordan flights? Yeah, Air Jordans. Gosh, this might be worthwhile just for all the uh, 
shoes that are in here. <laughs> These things aren't cheap when you buy them new. And it looks like this per person was a bit of a sneaker head. Because there are a crazy amount of shoes in here. Jordans. Uh, lots of Ewings. Looks like they really like these, these Ewing brand shoes. They were definitely into the, their basketball and stuff. Some hiking shoes. But these are, uh, are those Timberlands? Pretty sure these are Timberlands. Definitely look like the Timberland logo on there. Timberland Air Cores. So lots of expensive shoes. Oh, there's another set of Jordans. Air Force Ones, I think, AF1. Well, tons of shoes. Lots of really good shoes, actually. You wouldn't think that, uh, you know, you'd be excited about the resale on shoes, but vintage uh, Jordans and things like that, or, or, you know, higher quality running shoes are actually worth some good money, even secondhand. So look at that. That's a pretty big pile of basketball shoes right there. Well, after a trip to the dump, I'm left with basically a table full of tools and shoes. I've got a uh, Geo electric scooter in unknown working condition. It kind of looks like it's just going to be parts. And um, this super expensive ghost electric bicycle made in Germany that I've written them to see if I can get a new back wheel for it, a battery if I can. That is a $7,000 bike, uh, hybrid electric bicycle that uh, I might just be able to piece back together. I'm going to try to piece it back together too because um, there's certainly good value there. The frames there, seats there, basically everything there except for the back wheel and battery. So we'll see if we can get it back together. But uh, $500 paid for the unit. Um, I would say, gosh, there's probably those shoes that are here. If there was anything in this unit that the person probably wished that they didn't lose, it would be these shoes. Uh, they probably had spent uh, close to $2,000 in expensive uh, basketball shoes. Um, we got a giant container full of sockets and other tools. So all in all, I think we'll do okay. And if I can get this bicycle, this German bicycle piece back together, this will be possibly one of the biggest finds I've had in one of these units as it is a very expensive bicycle. So uh, just goes to show you never know what's lurking around inside of a storage unit. Um, I'll see if I can get this guy back in operating condition and um, I'm going to do a charity run right now Donate a whole bunch of the clothes to charity so they can go and uh, live a new life But guys, thank you very much for watching today's video some exciting finds some interesting things and uh, well for me I'm off to uh, continue on with my work. Have a wonderful day guys. We'll see you all soon and bye for now